Hello, I'm Joseph Vargo with SimplyMac.com, your premier Apple specialist. We have our headquarters in Salt Lake City, Utah with eight retail locations in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. Now I'm going to show you how to share books using the Kindle app on the iPad. So to share a book, as in a, uh, a book that you had bought before, you're probably going to be using um, something like iBooks. Um, or you could do Kindle, or you could do the, uh, one of the Nook apps or any of the others. These books that are free or the books that you've bought on an account are actually linked to your credit card or your specific account. So uh, in order to get these books on a different iPad, you'd want to sign in uh, with your Apple ID on that iPad. Now it's, it's something you're gonna want to only do with friends, close friends and family, uh, because it's not necessarily recommended. But if you just want to share a free book that you found on the internet, for instance, on here we have a website called Project Gutenberg that has an awful lot of free online books. Uh, if you go to one of these books, um, let's say we want to do the, uh, the Oakdale Affair in English. So here we can click on any of these number of these books and then upload it to whatever device we want, whether we have an iPad, a Kindle, or something else. We're going to share this whole link by clicking this little icon right here and then going mail link to this page. After you type that, you put in the email address of the person you'd like to send it to and then you send. Or you can tweet or print for someone. Again, I'm Joseph Vargo with SimplyMac.com and I showed you how to share books with the Kindle app on the iPad. Thank you.